Hello, in today's video we're going to look at how to live stream with a Canon EOS T7i and then a uh, Avermedia Live Gamer which is a 4K card. So it has uh, the ability to take an input from the camera and then pass it through to a uh, television or some other device. So to do that you need to use an HDMI to a mini HDMI cable to connect this to the uh, PCI card. You can also buy these in USB varieties. And then another HDMI 2.0 cable to go from the uh, card up to the television. So just to look at the uh, video quality, right now it is uh, set to 10 or 1920 by 1080 60p, which is what you want. If you change the uh, resolution in the camera, it still comes up with that on the info but it becomes apparent that you've uh, changed it. So we'll bring up the uh, display in here and you can navigate through using the uh, buttons. So there's a few things you'll want to do. One is you'll want to go over and use the uh, standard display. If you have the guided display it's uh, quite simple and it doesn't work very well. So we need to, uh, like I said, go to standard and the, the guided display hides some of the uh, settings you may choose to use. If you were to go and change the uh, resolution, which we'll do, so you want to make it just plain VGA and go out you can say see that it's changed to a square but when you go to the television info it still says 1920 by 1080 by 60p so we'll just go back here and uh, correct that put that back to uh, highest setting The menu, you'll see that there's an autofocus square. And the only way to get rid of that square, fortunately, with this is to uh, turn off the autofocus on the camera. So you see that it disappears. You can uh, use the Canon EOS webcam utility, but you're only going to get 576p. So if you want 1080p at 60 frames per second, you'll have to use a capture card or something like this and then turn off the uh, autofocus as you can see that it still focuses well and it's probably preferred depending on what you're doing with this uh, another thing that you want to do on here is prevent it from timing out so in here somewhere there is a uh, timing for auto power off and you'll have to turn that to off to disable it Otherwise, your uh, camera will turn off in like a, a minute. And then you can press the info button to get all the uh, information here. So that's pretty much how you uh, set up the camera. You're uh, good to go now. You can, I just have it in like the automatic mode, I believe. And if you wanted to record with the camera, you could, but you're going to get a red dot on here. So what you're going to be doing is recording with the uh, capture card. So now we're going to go to another source, which is the computer. And you can see that uh, the video is going into OBS, which is a, a free screen recorder. As you can see, this is a, an older computer. It's about eight years old. And uh, the CPU is working pretty hard just to uh, get this display up so I can't do any capturing with this computer but uh, the card is installed in a, an AMD A10 5800K and you can see the card in there is the uh, changing colors it does that depending on how you set it up in the utility and it uh, puts out quite a bit of heat with the computer and the card in there 
So it does not uh, send any audio through. Look, if you tap on the camera, you can see there's no levels changing on uh, the display. So you'll need to use an external microphone in order to do this, which is unfortunate. And uh, I'm just trying to think if there's anything else we need to take a look at while we're doing this. I think that's uh, about all I can really show you. Obviously you can start recording or start scream streaming with this. Like it, you just add it as a, a device. OBS can be uh, reviewed in other software, or other videos, sorry, rather than me explaining it. So I can do a, a quick start recording here, but my computer is just going to overheat and crash. So it's uh, using 100% of the CPU, although it says like 67% down here. So it, it's not going to be able to survive. So I'll have to get a a better CPU to do anything more than this. So anyway, hopefully this is uh, useful. I'm not going to make some long dramatic video or anything. So I want to get right to the point and show you how to stream in uh, 1080p. So thank you for watching.